So let's turn the UFO into a proper enemy. Go ahead and open the object UFO. And as soon as it's created, it's going to start firing. So let's add an event, create, and we're going to have it fire every second. So let's come to main 2, set alarm, set alarm 0 to 30 steps, click OK. We'll add event, alarm, alarm 0, and we're going to create a bullet. So main 1, we'll come to create a moving. We will create object enemy bullet at 0, 0, give it a speed of 6 and a direction of random 360. Make sure it's checked to relative, so it's the 0, 0 of the UFO object. Click OK, and then we need to reset the alarm. So main 2, set alarm, set alarm 0, back to 30. So every second it'll fire off a bullet. So close this, and we now need to deal with the bullet. So open the object enemy bullet. And just like the player laser, we don't want the bullet to keep going forever. We're going to give it a life of one second as well. So add event, create, main 2, set alarm. We're going to set alarm 0 to 30. Click OK. Add event, alarm, alarm 0. Come to main 1 and destroy instance. So after a second, it'll destroy itself. We also need to deal with it going outside the room. So add event, other, outside room, destroy instance, self. Make sure it is at a depth of negative 5 so it appears above the object UFO. Close it. And now let's set up collision tests between these two and the player. So open the object player. And the UFO is going to have a lot of similarities to our collision with the asteroid small. So let's just duplicate the asteroid small event and have it collide with the object UFO. We do need to make some changes. First, we want to come to this first change instance, open that up, and instead of an object explosion small, we want the large explosion, because this is applied to other, and the UFO is a larger object. But this will destroy the UFO, and so we need to remember to reset the UFO alarm as well. So let's come to control and drag a test variable above this final change instance. And we are going to test for the variable global.ufotime, a value of 100 and greater than. I'm going to set variable global.ufotime minus 100 relative. And then finally, we need to set the spawner's UFO time alarm. So main 2, set alarm. Apply this to the object spawner. And we'll set alarm 0 to global.ufo time. The object bullet is going to be similar to the asteroid small as well. So let's just duplicate this asteroid small collision again. And this time we'll give it a collision of the object enemy bullet. And the thing we need to change here is changing the instance into an explosion. We actually just want to get rid of the bullet. So let's delete this and we will replace it with destroy instance and it needs to apply to other so it is applying to the object bullet and so that's all there is to it let's just close the object player and there is going to be a little bit of an issue right now but we can test what we've got so we'll hang around wait for a UFO try and run into it or get shot, whatever. Okay, so we've destroyed that one. This time let's try and get shot by a bullet. Okay, finally. So the problem here is that the UFO keeps coming along. Let's try this again and see what the other problem is. So I've won the game, but the UFO is still spawning. And this can create a problem where we can win the level, but then at the last moment we might get shot by or run into the UFO. And thus we might lose if we were on our last lives.
So basically, we need to stop the UFOs from spawning once the game is over. And if it's still on the screen, we want to make it disappear. We're first going to tackle this by opening up the object scorekeeper. And in the create event, we're going to give it a new variable. So come to control, set variable, and the variable is going to be global dot game over with a value of false. So now we need to change game over to true when the game is over. So let's come to alarm zero, and this is when we have won the game, when all asteroids are destroyed. So in our blocks here, we're going to set a new variable at the top. It's going to be global dot game over equals true. And then we can see if there are any UFOs and their bullets on screen and then get rid of them. So let's go to test instance count, drag that underneath setting the global variable. We will look to see if object UFO is larger than zero. If it is, come to main one and we will destroy instance applying to the object UFO. We'll just copy paste these, copy paste and we'll change the second one from object UFO to object enemy bullet. If it's greater than zero, then we will destroy the object enemy bullet. So now the minute we win, it'll get rid of the UFO and any stray bullets. We also want to stop spawning if the game has been lost, so let's come to our alarm one, and we're going to add something to our lives test up here, so let's come to control, drag some blocks around this create instance of the object reset and underneath it we are going to set variable global dot game over equals true and so once the game is over we need to tell our spawner so let's close the scorekeeper and open the object spawner and then in our alarm zero before we even bother to test where we're going to create a UFO, we need to see if the game is over. So we're going to come to control, test variable. We're going to test for global dot game over. And if it is equal to false, then we will perform everything here. So let's drag blocks around it. And so now it should only keep spawning a UFO if the game is not over. And then finally, we need to make sure that when we reset the game, it turns game over back to false. So let's close this and open the object reset. Drag in a set variable, and we will set global dot game over to false. So now we should be able to test. Okay, I'm on my last life here. I'll just go ahead and crash. And the game is over, and if we give it a few seconds, no UFO is coming. So I'll reset the game, and I will try to win this time. Okay, so if I win, it gets rid of the UFO and all of its stuff, and no UFO respawns. So next, we need to make it so that we can shoot the UFO and we make it so that the UFO is vulnerable to asteroids. 